Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Google's Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist. And it's a pleasure to greet you today on the 30th anniversary of the Czechoslovakian attachment to the internet. I want to thank my good friend, Jan Gruntarad, for uh, inviting me to celebrate along with you. Of course, many things have happened in that 30 year period, including the separation of the Czech Republic from Slovakia. And I'd like to say that that uh, separation from at least the internet point of view and the domain name system went very smoothly, thanks to contributions, I'm sure, by Jan and his colleagues uh, to make that process go smoothly. There are other things that I remember well over that period, one of which is a visit to Prague in 1994 when the Internet Society had one of its INET conferences. Our keynote speaker, was George Soros, whom some of you I'm sure are well aware, uh, is the uh, founder of the Open uh, Societies uh, Initiative or Institute, uh, and who stepped in uh, as, the, uh, as the Soviet Union collapsed and found ways to support scientists uh, in what is now the Russian Federation during that uh, tumultuous period of, uh, of recovery. The thing that I remember uh, vividly about George Soros' talk is that he said in 1994 that even if the internet seemed to be free at that time, there was no guarantee that it would stay that way and that if we wanted to keep it open and accessible and useful for everyone, that we would have to work to achieve that objective, and surely we see that now as we see many of the harmful things that can happen in this online environment and the steps that some governments would like to take to respond to that. Uh, their motivations may be understandable, but their techniques may not necessarily produce the result that uh, we all would like. So our challenge today is to figure out how to protect the freedoms and utility and openness of the internet while at the same time dealing with the fact that there are people who uh, harm others through that medium, often across international boundaries. So how do we defend our citizens, keep them safe, uh, and keep them uh, able to use the network while at the same time keeping the openness, which is so vital to innovation and the sharing of scientific knowledge. So once again, congratulations on the 30th anniversary. I know that uh, many of you will continue to contribute to the evolution of the internet, which is still evolving and still changing. It still welcomes new ideas uh, and for everyone's benefit, and I'm sure you'll contribute yours as well. Meanwhile, since I can't be with you in person, I hope I'll see you on the net.